Ruth, thank you so much for joining us here at Risk Minds. You're going to be talking about challenger banks versus incumbents and tech, friend or foe. What, what are your thoughts on those subjects at the moment? Okay, well, I mean, I think this is all very friendly for consumers. Um, more competition is obviously better for everybody. So it's better for the challenger banks, it's better for customers, and it's better for the incumbent banks as well, because I think it drives a greater level of innovation. So innovation, the key word there, what would you say challenger banks are doing well and how are they sort of moving into space that perhaps the incumbents haven't mm -hmm. and can't? Okay, so I mean in many respects challenger banks have a bit of an advantage when it comes to tech. So the incumbent banks, um, they, they have in some cases quite old IT systems that have been put together in a patchwork framework through mergers and acquisitions over the years and their IT systems don't always talk to each other so one of the things that the Basel committee did is um, put together a global standard that requires um, firms to have IT systems that do speak to each other so that as a risk manager you've got that overall view of risk it's called BCBS 239 if you're interested good read <laughs> but um, so so anyway um, the Basel committee published to say that actually only three of the 30 global systemically important banks actually comply with these quite high level um, quite high level principles now banks like Monzo comply with that from the start because they're starting with a new IT system that they've developed themselves and of course they do use third-party software but one of the things that we always look at is will it plug in so that so as a risk manager at Monzo I have very very good quality um, risk information aggregated I can have graphs in real time on whatever risk against um, you know whatever it is across different risk types so that's 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 really important and really exciting. So what can the incumbent banks do about that? Because they have got these legacy structures, as mm -hmm. you describe them, that mean that they, they can't do some of what the challenger banks are doing who've leapfrogged that and, and are mm -hmm. able to sort of take on modern technology a lot quicker. So what can they do to try and move forward from that position? So I guess that's probably a question for the incumbent banks. I know, I know they have very massive IT projects to try and address this issue. Um, but there's also a question about speed as well because, because um, some of the features that Monzo has, one of, one of the favourite features that Monzo has with the card is that if I lose, if I'm not sure where my card is, I might have just left it in a different handbag, it might, I might not have actually lost it and I don't really want to cancel my card because I can't get a replacement card for seven days, I can just um, freeze it on the app. Now that kind of technology, we one of our developers built in half a day. So some of the other, some of the incumbent banks are now copying those kind of features, but I don't think they can launch them quite as quickly as um, Challenger like Monzo. And those sort of features are what the 21st century customer mm. now wants. They mm. expect that level of accessibility and, and also mm -hmm. transparency. Mm -hmm. Indeed, so um, one, of, one of the things we do engage very closely with our customers through the customer community, we ask some questions. Um, one of the things we did earlier in the year when we had prepaid customers that were migrating to current account is we asked some of those customers, why wouldn't you um, transfer across to the current account? And they gave us a list of features that perhaps were missing and we published those and we, we ticked them off one by one and delivered on what we said we'd do. So really listening and putting the heart the, mm. to the heart of it, the customer's sort of desires and demands if you like. Indeed, and the technology helps us to do that. So we're not constrained by the technology and what we can do for customers. And that's a great position to be in. Now, technology is a marvellous thing, but it does also have its own challenges. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, topics on the agenda this week at this mm -hmm. conference about cybersecurity, for example. Yeah. So how do you ensure that these are watertight systems and that the customer doesn't need to worry about that? Indeed. and. Um, you know, cyber security is every bit as important to Monzo as, as any of the incumbent banks and, and so those risks are very similar and indeed you know startups could be a, a target because because the criminals out there want to test and see whether they can get get in so so we're very focused on that and um, we have very much similar types of risk and controls in place as, as the incumbent banks. So you're now a consultant, what would be the first piece of advice you would give if you're going into a bank and they want to know how to move forward and how to engage customers? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's listening to the customers, um, perhaps launching a product maybe sooner than the whole sort of minimum viable product MVP so you don't, 
you don't polish the product so much before you launch it and then you wait and get feedback from customers so of course the product has to be completely compliant so there's some red there's some red lines there in terms of the work that you need to do but you don't um, if you launch it soon and then iterate that you get that feedback from customers more quickly so get different manifestations uh, so that you get the best product in the end mm -hmm. yes so going into 2019 mm -hmm. what do you think are the opportunities that, that are there and what excites you if you like in terms of this world mm -hmm. so I think it's really exciting time I think the landscape is changing massively I think transparency is a great way to build trust um, Open banking is another thing that really is a game changer. So at the moment, banks like Monzo, they have great quality of data, but not the quantity of data because they haven't had customers for 10, 20 years. But open banking changes that. So it's an exciting time. Lots of interesting times ahead. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us, Ruth. Thank you very much. Cheers.